Hi guys, this is Tom Rainey of the Rainey Team at the Bizarro Agency, ready to give you the not seen on TV backstage pass to New York City real estate. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, and enjoy the show. Hi guys, this is Tom Rainey of the Rainey Team, uh, and with me today is Wendy Lowe. Hi there. Uh, she is a rock star. Uh, she's coming from a diverse background of experiences, and she's come in and really taken the real estate industry by storm. Um, and my favorite part about Wendy is that she does not give up. Um, she gets out there, and she has a client who needs to get something done, and she really hones in on the specifics and the, de the details right from the beginning. Um, we had a client recently um, who on the surface looked like, okay, it should be, should be easy peasy, um, but there were a couple issues that, that came up. Uh, so take it from there. So essentially the client, um, as soon as we connected, you know, great guy and he's eager to buy, eager to go out and start seeing places. He had his cash ready, he has his budget set, you know, parameter is very clear. And you know, I knew he was a good buyer. And but the more I kind of dug deep, the real the more I realized that oh, this client actually for the past two years hasn't really had any income. Which could be a problem. Right. Uh, um e even if you're purchasing and with mm -hmm. They were purchasing all cash. All cash, right? Yes. So on the surface, okay, great, all cash, no problem. Uh, but if you don't have any income and you're purchasing in a co-op, which is the price range that we were mm -hmm. looking at, um, that can be difficult to get approved. Right. Um, so we had to get a little bit creative. Uh, Wendy, actually, I think she came to me and sort of like, Tom, what right. do I do? Um, how are we gonna do this? <laughs> how are we gonna do this? Uh, well, we looked at all the numbers. Uh, we always review all the numbers, especially mm -hmm. with co-ops with our clients to make sure that it's gonna be a good fit. Right. Uh, and I think we figured out the sponsor unit was yeah. definitely going to be the way to go. Because in a way, the more we review, the more kind of issues we unearth. Like, oh, you don't have an income. Oh, because you don't have an income, you kind of racked up a lot of credit card debts. Or, oh, you started a new business, um, so you've taken out some loans. And it's just like, you're a great guy, like, you know, a great client ready to buy. But just not great on paper so what can we really offer you and show you that is actually within your lead to purchase right so i think what we what oh, okay yeah uh so i'm just gonna side note uh our producer just asked me what a sponsor unit is yeah. uh and you would think spending all this time at a real estate office that he would have picked up on that but he hasn't yet so naughty i'm gonna educate that's um, right so a sponsor unit is a unit uh, that's owned by the original owner or entity of owners of a building. Um, you can also occasionally sponsor, transfer sponsor rights on, onto a new purchaser of multiple units of the building, but that's fairly rare. So it, it, essentially, you are buying from the original owner of the building. Um, and the reason people prefer a sponsor unit is because there's no board approval, generally. Um, so not having to go through a board approval uh, interview, doing the board package or any of that really makes it much easier uh, for people who have complicated purchasing situations. Um, and uh, in this case, um, you know, that was, that was the case with this client. But in addition to that, um, we still had to present the income and I think he had like a job coming up. Right. He had a he had a job lined up for I believe three months after actually yeah three months after when the purchase is supposed to close mm -hmm. but during that this time that we are you know preparing for this purchase he also has kind of an interim job and also just additional side income that is just that at least shows that he would have enough money to continue to pay for the maintenance and to give the sponsor peace of mind, even though they don't request a lot of financial information for the purchase. But when we present an offer, we want to make sure the numbers mm -hmm. look good. So we put all those pieces together, we created a story, and we presented the offer, mm -hmm. and we were able to get it accepted, yep. and they closed yep. very quickly. Another reason people uh, prefer sponsor mm -hmm. units, they, they tend to close very quickly. Um, so 
Great. Well, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to like, comment, or share below. Uh, and uh, also feel free to reach out to Wendy, the one who does not give up, yes. uh, or Tom Ranney, uh, Uptown Man. Mm -hmm. uh, any, uh, anything that you'd like us to do for you, uh, happy to chat. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.